Hey guys, what's up? I was just kind of bored, so I figured I'd make a quick video on where to find multi-tracks, how to use them, and what exactly they are. So first thing, and I'll leave a link to everything I show you in this video in the description, so you can do it right away and just follow along at home and what have you. So first thing I want to do is open your internet browser. And I'm going to be using in the video the Rock Band Multitracks uh, link. You can do the Guitar Hero or the Rock Band. Once you see this video, it's pretty much the same for both of these sites, but I'm just going to use the Rock Band because I like Rock Band out of the two. So when you get here, you're not going to have any option for logging in because you don't have an account on this website most likely. So you have to click the register button to make an account. It's your stereotypical registration process and then once you have the account you should be all logged in and assuming it doesn't take you directly to the um, what we're trying to access here uh, just revisit the link once you're logged in and it you should be just fine and you should get this pulled up right here so basically what this is is uh, some amazing person on this site has gone through the painstaking trouble of ripping all the multi-tracks off of Rock Band for use with uh, Phase Shift, which is kind of like um, Guitar Hero for your computer, but with a uh, different program entirely, but it's got the same kind of concept to it. But it doesn't really matter for us, because all we're really interested in is the multi-tracks. So, uh, first thing you're going to want to do uh, is you're going to want to go down here. You can view all the games that have been put on here. And then you would click them and it automatically takes you to the uh, actual game to look through the listed multi-tracks for that. Uh, that's the way I usually do it is I just click the one and then I scroll through. Uh, you can also view the change log to see what has been added. Um, looks like he added some stuff today actually. Which would be these three right here and then um, these over here that he added yesterday. But yeah, anyway... Um, you can go through that to see what he's added. But for this, we're just going to be going down here and finding... Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, where is it? Uh, well, I can't find it. it. I was looking for a certain song, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, for this one, we're going to be using You Got Another Thing Coming by Judas Priest. You would click any of these download links right here to get access to the download, obviously. And then you would click download now off of the zippy share. Warning, do not enter this You're going to need um, WinRAR to open the file because it's zipped up in a package. So you can open the file just regularly or you can just save it, whichever one you want to do. You don't actually just need WinRAR. You could do anything, any program that would unzip a file like this. Uh, I use WinRAR, to be honest. But uh, after you download it, you want to open it up and then drag this actual folder to your area wherever you want to keep it. I have a designated folder for all this stuff, but for, usually I just leave it on the desktop until I do this next step. So once you're done with that, you can uh, close out of the websites or just keep downloading ones that you want to use. Um, if you're only interested in this video for the Finding multi-tracks, uh, that was how you do it. I'll leave a link to the Guitar one as well, uh, the Guitar Hero one as well. It's pretty much the same process. You just log in here with the same account and it's listed out the same way, except it's Guitar Hero instead of Rock Band. So there's that. If you're in it for the whole shebang and you want to know how to use these when you get them, um, just keep on watching. So once you get this file, um, what I like to do is I like to open Audacity and some of the songs are different like this one specifically has uh, three drum parts and usually when these are divided by into three it's usually like the snare, the cymbals, and the kick drum. So you want to drag those into here just to make it, you don't actually have to do this, I just think it makes it simpler. You drag it into here, there's all three parts and then you export that is its own file because we're going to make all these a WAV file. You can make them MP3, I just make them WAV because WAV is higher quality and quality is always good in these matters. So you make it its own thing, then you can take this, drag it into the folder, and you have the drum track that you can play. Oh, 
Okay, so there's that. And then what I like to do after this is um, delete those because you don't need them anymore. And then drag all these to a MP3 file converter. This one I had found on the Pirate Bay. I don't actually... This might actually be the website to get it. It might be free. I'm not quite sure. Um, I've never actually checked out their website for it. But this is the... Um, this is the... Uh, program that I use but you can use audacity to do this part as well I just like this one because it makes it simple you drag the files into here and convert them to wave and then you have your files they show up in a pre-designated folder you can um, go into options and tell it where to put the converted files I have it set to obviously put it into a folder like this and then I whoops don't do what I just did because that is not what I wanted to do I wanted to drag it into the original one which is this so if you go to damn it I did not mean to do that let me just do it again sorry about that guys I messed up I didn't mean to drag it into there usually I like to drag it into the folder which is this so now we have it all in there. You can delete all this extra stuff. Because this stuff right here is for the actual game. But I'm only in it for the tracks. So now we have these individual tracks. And you can play them using a player without audacity. Listen, listen, nice, now be some action spans. Drive hard, I'm calling all the shots. So you got that. Now, if you're an actual, you know, person with talent and you're a musician, um, you can use these files in an even cooler way. You can take them and you can drop them into Audacity and they'll be layered out like this and they'll automatically set themselves to the, you know, right tempo so they're in sync with each, with each other. Um, and then you can solo them and play them individually. So there's that, and then say you're a guitar player, you can mute the guitars, uh, mute, and then hit play, and now you can record your own guitar and put that into the mix uh, for practice or for fun. Or you could solo the guitar to learn it and slow it down and so it really it depends on what you want to do you could do the same thing with the bass take out the bass and there you have a bass track or a bass backing track One cool thing I like to do is take out the um, vocals and sometimes the song part is either uh, extra lead guitar, sometimes it's strings, sometimes it's extra vocals. Like here it's extra guitar fills and percussion and stuff like that. But anyway, what I like to do is I like to just take out the vocals and you have yourself a really cool high quality instrument. And that's pretty much it. Uh, last thing I really like to do on this is Go solo the vocals, and you got yourself a really cool, high quality I'm vocal track. Live it up. I'm taking fight, I said I'll never get it up. So, yeah, that's pretty much the process for using multi tracks and where to find them. If you have any questions or anything like that, just leave a comment below and go ahead and ask it, and I'll try to answer it as best I can. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helped, and like I said, if you have any questions, just leave them at the bottom of the video in the comment section. Talk at you later. Have a good one.
Hey guys, uh, one more thing I got to say before I uh, stop recording was I have an unreal amount of the multi tracks that I've downloaded, and if you've been subscribed to me before, you know that I used to post instrumentals and vocal tracks and stuff. So I may consider um, making a video listing out the artists I have and the songs that I have, or possibly just the artists, and that way. You know, somebody can leave a comment down below like, hey, what do you have for Three Doors Down or what do you have for Disturbed or something like that. And then I can let them know like, hey, this is what I got. Which ones do you want? So I think um, in the coming weeks, I'll just make a quick video focused on this uh, folder right here going through and letting you see uh, what I have and... Uh, what I can do for you guys because some of these I only have one song in it like this one um, a while back I downloaded a bunch for a guy he paid me for them and I gave them to him so I have quite a few now but for things like Disturbed I have a bunch where's Disturbed there it is um, the only one I have to re-get is Stricken because for some reason that one got deleted um, but yeah I can do that for you guys I'll just make a video listing the artists and um you guys can tell me which ones you want. So I'll do that later. Uh, this is just a add on to the video. Completely ignored if you've already watched the other part. I just figured I'd add it in. Have a good day guys.